Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Audio. My name is Bharat Kumar. So guys, now onwards, I'm going to focus on LLM models, right? So in this video, we are going to explore Meta Llama 3.1 model. So with this Llama 3.1 model, I'm going to build a chatbot, right? So before going to build a chatbot, I just want to give you some intro about Llama models, right? So previously, the Llama has launched Llama 2 model, Llama 2, right? So now after that Llama 2, they have launched two models, Llama 3, 8 billion parameter in the April and as well Llama 70 billion parameters in the April, right? So in the late June, they have launched Llama 3.1, 8 billion, same 70 billion, 405 billion parameters, right? So these are the models, recent Llama 3.1 model, and they are comparing with the Llama 3 model. Here you can see MMLU, they have improved accuracy from 65 to 73. Like that, they are just comparing the previous models and the new model. So here you can see the Llama 3.1 model is performing way better than Llama 8 billion, Llama 3 8 billion parameter, right? So when we go to the benchmarks, you can see these are the benchmarks that we have for these models. And also they are comparing it with the GPT-4 mini and as well Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Here you can see for this MMLU chart, they are saying that it is almost performing, it is almost giving the Llama 4.5 billion is giving the competition to the GPT-4 Omni. 88.6 here you can see 88.7 almost equal but compared to Cloud 3.5 Sonnet it is performing better right so here you can see the comparisons when comparing to the GPT 3.5 Turbo the Llama 3.1 70 billion is performing better than GPT right so many people are using this Llama model right so with these benchmarks you can able to see which model is performing and then you can compare with the GPT and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet if you want to know about more, just click on this model cards. It is a model card. So let's see about what model card says. So the we have the Llama 3.1 text only model. It will work only on text, right? So in this we have three parameters: 8 billion, 70 billion, and 405 billion. Multilingual. So it can support any things like generation, text generation, code generation language translation like that here you can see multilingual text and code same output modulations and context length so previously the context length for the llama 2 is 4k and for the llama 3 is 8k but with this llama 3.1 they come up with 128 k input so you can send 128k tokens as an input right and the output also you can get 128k tokens right the knowledge cutoff is up to december 2023 it can have knowledge i mean the up to December 2023 the data it has trained on that so when you come to the January 2024 it can't access the data so it is a model cuts you can go to research paper and you can read about research papers what they have built I mean how they have built this model it is an introduction video about Llama and you can go and read about their blogs right so let's see the leaderboards so when it comes to the leaderboard at the first position we have GPT-40 latest model which has released in August so in the upcoming videos I am going to make series on Gemini models so you can see at the rank 6 we can see the Llama model Llama 3.1 405 billion instruct model is at the rank 6 it is a arena score about the model you can directly go to this website and you can see people are giving ranking to the models right so you can see the Llama 3.1 405 billion instruct and it is a score votes this many words the people have voted and the company is Meta and license is Llama 3.1 community. The knowledge cut off up to 23 December. Okay. So guys, now let's try Meta AI. Just come to this website llama.meta.com then try 405 billion. So here you can chat with the models. Let's try Hello Llama 3.1. You can see it is giving the replay back. The name Llama 3 is not accurate. I am actually based on Llama 3, not Llama 2. I was trained on large dataset to generate human-like response. Okay. Let's tell it. Hello. Llama 3. How are you? With this way, you can try and you can chat with the models. 405 billion parameters of model. Right? 
So but in order to access these models you can directly download the model from their website. From their website you can directly download the model. Go to download models and then you just need to fill this. You have to fill this information to download the to get the access for download models right. And then in the second way you can directly go to hugging face. Hugging face. With this hugging face you can download llama models. So in this video I am going to use olama. Olama download so you have to download this so it is a third way of accessing the llama 3.1 model so i'm going to download this model so i'm going to download this olama click on download it will download the olama right i have already downloaded olama i'll just show you olama you can see the olama app is downloaded so first if you want to access this model with this using this olama you have to download this olama then come to the VS code. It is our Lama 3.1. It is the Lama 3.1 code. So before that, we have to do a task. I'm just opening this folder into the integrated terminal. So guys, when you download the Olama, then you have to do this thing. Olama pull Lama 3.1. So it will download the Lama 3.1 model. Or else, after downloading, we just need to do olama run llama 3.1 so you can see it is trying to access the llama 3.1 model when you pull olama llama 3.1 it will download the model the model size around 4 to 5 gb right it's a huge model so when you are using it with the olama you can we can able to say it is 4 to 5 gb but the original size of the model is around 14 gb so our laptop cannot access that 14 GB model because it needs more GPU, more GPU and RAM. So for my laptop, I have 8 GB RAM and 4 GB graphics card. So I can able to access this 3.1 model. But even though with the 4 GB graphics, my laptop is hanging. That is a problem to handle this large language open source models. Let's wait for to complete this. Before that, you have to know this. You have to download the Olama and then pip install Olama. Then Olama run 3.1 or else it will directly download the model and run or else you can pull the model and then you can run this one. There are two options. Okay. So here you can see now we are in the Lama 3.1 terminal. Let's chat with Lama 3.1. So guys you can see now we are able to chat with the Lama 3.1. You can see it give replay. Hello. How can I assist you today? Tell me about LLM models. Yeah. See, you can see it generating the text. So guys, our first task is completed. We have downloaded the Lama 3.1 model in our local system. Here you have to notice that the RAM size must be 8 GB. If your RAM says less than 8 GB, so don't download this. Please, I'm requesting you, right? Even though if you have the graphics card 2 GB or 4 GB, 2 GB and 4 GB are enough, but the 4 GB is better because with 4 GB also sometimes my laptop is hanging. So please make a note of that, right? See how slow it is giving. When I have the 8 GB or 12 GB of graphics card, it will give faster response. It always depends upon graphics card and RAM also. So you can see it is giving the response. Let's wait for it to complete the response. So guys, it stopped giving the response. Now in order to exit from this, just press backslash and exit. So guys, you can see I exit from the model terminal now I just want to clear my screen CLS so the screen is clear now let's go to the code so you have to install this streamlet as a UI because we are going to use this streamlet and then from the llama index I'm just pulling the olama right so first we have to initialize the model model equal to olama and then llama 3.1 llama 3.1 will come on will come into the C drive right if you can explore C drive you can see the llama 3.1 model right so here I'm just creating a function to get the model response because sometimes it is taking some time so that's why I have given three attempts it will run up to three attempts as I told you earlier like it depends on the GPU so my GPU is not able to capture this model perfectly so that's why I'm running it for three attempts with the span of two seconds time right 
just don't worry about this it will try to access the model for three times in a span of in two seconds of time right so here it is my title build your own gpt model build your own llm model with llama 3.1 so here you have to enter your question this question so i'm going to pass this question to the model Gen get model response in the get model response i'm getting right so in the get model response in the result so here i have initialized the model so i'm just passing this question to the model model dot complete and then question so it is going to give the response so i'm just giving that response when i click on the get button get answer it is going to give the answer so because i'm just storing this model response in the result and then i'm writing it to the streamlit ui so let's run this streamlit run app dot py so guys you can see our code has executed so guys you can see it is a ui for our code build your own llm model with llama 3.1 let's see hello it will take some time let's wait for it to get the response so guys you can see i got the response from the ui i said hello it replied back with the hello how can i help you today so like this you can chat with the model with this model llama 3.1 right so when coming to the coding so first you have to download olama then pip install olama here you can do in the terminal then olama run so you can chat with the olama after that if you want to exit from the olama terminal just backslash exit so like this you can exit from the olama server then for our code in order to run our code you have to install this pip install streamlit llama index then streamlit run app dot py so your python code will run it is a code this code i'm going to give in the description below right you can check it out so after running you can see this ui right so guys bye for now see you in the next video with the gemini i u series